Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekend vlog. Actually, it's not going to be a weekend vlog. This is going to be a 24 hour reading vlog and I am so nervous about it, but I'm also really excited. So basically, I realised I am currently in the middle of six books and I've been reading six books for like three weeks and it makes me feel ill, like I hate it. I feel really stressed out by reading so many books at one time. I can do three books. Actually, I love doing three books. Three books is my perfect. I can just about handle four and two is okay. But like three is my optimal, my maximum. Like I love that. But I've been reading six and it's really stressing me out. I need to just finish a few books, like get through them. So what I thought I would do is set myself a challenge and I'm so scared. Like I think I'm gonna really, really regret this. So I mean, you've probably already seen in the title of this video, but let me put you down somewhere and talk you through it. The sun is absolutely crazy in this room today. It's so annoying. I've just been trying to film and it's been driving me nuts. So we're sitting here. So yes, I am doing this as a 24 hour reading vlog and I've done this before, but I've done it with a friend and I've done it like, I've either done it in a 24 hour period with a friend, with my friend Tori, which is so much fun, or I've done it reading for 24 hours, kind of seeing how long, uh, how much I can read within 24 actual hours, kind of pausing the timer and only timing when I'm reading. But I don't wanna do that. I wanna do an actual 24 hour and just genuinely see if I can read Crime and Punishment <laughs> in a 24 hour period. That is what I'm gonna try to do. Although I have already started it, so it's slightly cheating already. But basically, I just really wanna focus for 24 hours reading, getting as much done as I possibly can, and hopefully knocking back my currently reading from six to three. So, well, actually, that's a lie. I've just finished one book, so I'm actually not reading six anymore. Because I did this last night. I read a book in two days. I think it's currently five books I'm reading. I'm gonna get that down to three by the end of this, and I'm gonna finish Crime and Punishment. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to commit to finishing Crime and Punishment. So the other books I'm currently reading, if you're interested, is I'm reading The Last Unicorn. Um, and I'm about 80 pages into that and I'm loving it. This is actually very, very good and very cozy. It's really reminding me a lot of the movie, which I always loved. There's very, very similar vibe. So I'm reading that and I'm loving it. I'm currently listening to The Golden Enclaves, which is, if you know, if you've seen any of my previous vlogs, I'm loving this series so much right now. I am on the last book of this series and this is going to be not a difficult thing to read at all. But basically I'm using this 24 hours so that I don't just read this book and then like ignore the, all, the, all the other books that I really seriously need to read. Because the other ones I need to read are the book club book. I really need to like sit down and intentionally finish that or at least get a good way through it. It is Those Who Do Not Grieve. So this is for the Reading Around the World book club. And this book is from Samoa. So this is the one we're currently reading. I'm about 50% through now, I think. I did like a push for it last night. So I'm going to be finishing that in this vlog. And then the other one, the main one that I'm gonna be focusing on for this 24 hour vlog is Crime and Punishment. So I just started this. I think I'm about 10% of, no, I'm about 15% into it. It's a big, it's a big one though. It's a big beefy boy. I'm going to be reading it on my Kindle and I'm going to be listening to it on audiobook. And I'm just going to see how far through I can get in a 24 hour readathon. The other books, let me just actually check because this is the thing when you're reading so many books is you, you genuinely like forget what you're actually reading. So I've told you about those three. The Golden Enclaves, The Last Unicorn, They Who Do Not Grieve. And what's the other book I'm reading? Oh yeah, The Crossroads of Twilight. Oh. Okay, I'm not focusing on that that much in this vlog. That is the Wheel of Time book number 11. No, book number 10. I keep telling myself I have to read it. I told myself I was going to read it last month. I didn't. I've been reading it this month. I've been barely reading it because it's really boring so far. So that is the plan for this vlog. It is a beautiful sunny day today. I'm going to go now and make some lunch so you can come along with me. Sorry, you're a bit dusty there. So basically, I'm not gonna be starting the vlog right now is in the timer, like the 24 hour timer, because I'm gonna try and be tactical about it. Oh, hold on, let's just say hello to me, say. So. Hi. You're so cute. Anyway, so I'm not starting the timer now. I'm gonna start it actually probably tomorrow morning, because tomorrow I've got a pretty free day because basically I've got a different book club tonight. I've got to get work done today. I'm not gonna be able to start it realistically until like later on this evening. I think I want a fresh day, 
you know, I've only basically decided I'm doing it now. So I'm going to start it tomorrow morning, early in the morning, like 8 a.m. And then do the 24 hours till the next day. Okay, what is there for lunch? That's a good question. I'm still doing Veganuary, if you know or you care. <laughs> um, maybe I'll have avocados on a bagel. If these avocados are ripe. What's the issue with avocados? Yeah, maybe I'll have a bagel. Maybe I'll have ramen. Is that vegan? Anyway, I'm gonna make some lunch, figure out what I'm having. Um, and I'll give you little updates for today, but the, I'm basically gonna start this video properly tomorrow morning, bright and early when we are on the walk. I'm gonna be doing at least an hour walk, listening to Crime and Punishment on the audiobook. Um, and then I'm gonna come home and just read it physically or like on my Kindle. And it's gonna be an adventure. And we're gonna see if I'm gonna get it, get it done. Comment down below if you think I'm crazy, if you think I'm going to manage to do this or not. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to manage to do it. I'm, so I'm currently 15% through and that's taken me two weeks. <laughs> no, a week. It's taken me a week to get 15%. So how much can I get done? 24 hours. With other stuff that I need to get done as well. Like I, I, I do have a relatively free day, but it's not free. It's not completely free. Maybe I'll quickly show you like book club tonight as well before we start the 24 hour we read for my friend book club we read the poisonwood bible and oh my god it was so good i've read demon copperhead by barbara kingsolva before but i have never read any other ones of hers and i love demon copperhead and so i should have known that i was gonna love this i read it it's 600 pages i read it in two days literally two days that is because also we have book club tonight and i hadn't started it yet i started it on saturday night and i finished it last night um so i did read it in two days because there was time pressure for that reason but also it was so so good i absolutely loved it maybe i'll show you a little bit of our book club discussion later because i have a feeling that all of us absolutely loved it I decided i'm having this for lunch because it's vegan and it's easy so i'm gonna just heat it up and eat it <laughs> I've just done it with some fresh tomatoes and I was going to do it with kimchi before I realised it's actually out of date by a couple weeks. Although it says best before and it does smell fine. Although I don't know. Is that a bit dodgy? It does look a little dried out. Maybe I won't. That's such a shame. I wanted some kimchi with it. And I'm going to do some like vegan mayo and sauce and some nutritional yeast. This is honestly... The biggest lifesaver when you're <laughs> when you're vegan. Hello gorgeous people. I've just been filming and editing, got a YouTube video up, which is my like hopeful books or like books to read when you're feeling sad. I'll tag it here maybe. Um, and now oh, I've actually just uploaded a TikTok as well. A very, very salty review of this book, The Atlas Complex, which if you saw my most recent vlog, you know that I hated this book and i've just hated it more and more as time has gone by you know what that's fine i love being controversial now i am going to chill out for a little bit tori's coming over here for book club later and then tomorrow morning bright and early we're starting the 24 hour challenge also i realized i lied to you earlier because i thought i was 15 percent through crime and punishment i'm actually 30 percent through so like this title that i've already made in my head is going to be kind of clickbaity because I'm reading, I'm going to aim to read 70% of Crime and Punishment in 24 hours. But that's a whole lot less catchy, so we're just sticking with the original plan. <laughs> book club! Well, actually, this isn't book club. We're going to be... This is pre-book club. We're going to be on the book club very soon. And we'll show you the other girls. But I don't have the physical book. Actually, this is the first month that I have not... We kindled it. Bought we it. Yeah, kindled it. it. Mm -hmm. Because I read it in two days. Mm -hmm. And I started it on Saturday. So I didn't have time to order the book. <laughs> I completely forgot to vlog book club in the end. But we had a great discussion. Absolutely everyone loved the book. Yeah, that rarely happens where we all just like gush about a book. We're all just like, yeah, great. Five stars. Loved it. Um, not that that's what we said. We really went into it and dug deep. But it's so nice. It's fun either way with book club, whether you agree or you disagree, because you always find stuff that you didn't know about a book um, just through talking about it. But it's really nice as well when we all just like find a book that we really loved. And that's what happened today. So I'm just getting ready for bed now. I'm going to brush my teeth, do my skincare. And then tomorrow morning, we are starting the 24 hour readathon. And we are going to be reading Crime and Punishment. And we're going to be trying to finish the whole thing. And I don't know how this is going to go. This might be just the biggest fail of a vlog, but we're going to see how it works. 
um, and it's gonna be a fun adventure that we're both going together. If you are trying to read something like Crime and Punishment or I don't know, big long Russian classic or any other classic, a book that you've been putting off for a while, hopefully this video can be inspiring to you that sometimes you can just like set aside a day and get it done. And I'm really hoping that that's what's gonna happen tomorrow, but we shall see. So I will see you bright and early in the morning when I'm starting the clock on 24 hours. Good night. Good morning, I just woke up. It is 9.37. I was supposed to start this 24 hour reading vlog at 9.30. Obviously I have not started it yet, so we're changing the start time to 9.40. Okay, I can't find my headphones. I'm gonna just use these because I'm panicked now about missing another start time. So, Macy's down here. I ripped up my carpet, by the way. Don't ignore all these clothes, I'm selling them. I ripped up my carpet in my hallway. Anyway, um, oh my God, I'm gonna miss the start time again. So I'm gonna start at 8.40 and I'm gonna listen while I get ready and go on a walk. So I'm out on my walk, it's around nine o'clock and I'm listening to Crime and Punishment. So I started around 30%. We'll see where this hour walk kind of gets me. And then I'm gonna go home, have breakfast, and then I'm gonna read it physically. Okay, I am back from my walk. It's about 10 in the morning. I'm gonna make some breakfast now. I'm gonna make my banana smoothie. But I thought I'd also tell you a bit about Crime and Punishment if you've never read it before. So basically all I knew about Crime and Punishment before I started reading it is there is a man, he has this theory about crime that basically if you're an extraordinary person, then you have the right, the moral right, to decide what laws apply to you and what don't. And then he kind of goes out and tests this. And then the whole book is about his crime and his punishment. And that is what it is about. The reason why I haven't picked it up until now is because I thought it would be a lot slower than it is. And I thought it would be a lot less intriguing than it is. Like, I thought it would really be about like a lot of the philosophy of it and kind of exploring these different political and like social movements and ideas. And it does, it does do all of that, but it does it with very, very interesting characters. And it's a lot more engaging than I thought it was gonna be. Like we have our main character who is just literally insane, but like in like a, in kind of a fun way. Like I actually really enjoy reading from his perspective, even though he is absolutely tapped in the head often and he's getting worse as I'm reading the book. But there's also all of these side characters and some of them are very good people and you kind of go from in lots of different perspectives. Um, I'm currently, I think I've just got about to 45% through. Yeah, I'm only now just hearing about his like actual theory of like this crime and punishment, um, his kind of central idea. Um, and that's very interesting. But also, there's like gonna be, I think, hopefully, a romantic subplot. Like, there's two characters, I'm like, come on guys, get together. And that's very cute. Um, not the main guy, he can go to prison, but he's very interesting. We do definitely belong in prison. But yeah, just to say, it's actually really interesting. The audiobook that I'm listening to is um, by Will Poulter. Like, you know, the guy with the eyebrows? I'll put a picture of him up here. Um, he's the one reading it, he's doing a great job. I'm feeling very hopeful and happy about this book and the fact that I do think that I might be able to finish it today at some point and then also finish another book. So this is a great 24 hour reading vlog so far. She says, literally two hours in. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so motivated at the beginning though. Just making my banana smoothie now. One thing I do wonder about this book is Currently, as I'm reading it, I don't think this counts as a spoiler in any way, but he hasn't been caught. I know he will be, um, but I just wonder when it's gonna happen and how it's gonna happen. Because honestly, he's not that smart. He thinks he's so clever and he thinks he's so slick with how he's getting away with this crime, but like, he's so not. So I just really wonder how he, oh! Oh my God, I almost spilled this peanut butter everywhere. Wait, look at this peanut butter. Look at that. If there's oil on top, you have to like mix it together. I've put a wash on and I'm gonna have my smoothie now. Delish. Okay, I've just been reading it on my Kindle and I'm officially halfway through. And I can say that I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely slow. If I wasn't like pushing myself to read it, this is the type of book that would just take me two months to read because it's very, very slow. Um, 
which is actually why I'm really glad that I'm doing this as a challenge because if I'm forcing myself to read it, it's like propelling me through the story. And so I might do this again, like with 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 War and Peace and just like force myself to read it and like, or try and read a big chunk of it in a really short period of time because it's really working for me. I'm really enjoying it. I'm gonna stop now for a bit because I need to get some work done. I've just been thinking about Crime and Punishment so much. And also the book that I just finished a couple of days ago, the Poisonwood Bible. And I don't own either of them physically. So I'm actually gonna go and check on WOB, which is world used to be called World of Books, if they have any cheap secondhand copies, because I really feel like I want to own them physically. Okay, they do. I also found a discount that's taking like 15% off, I think. And they ha I have the um this exact copy that I wanted, the Penguin Classic one. I also am thinking about getting this book, which I've also heard is amazing, by the same author as the Poisonwood Bible. That £4.50, not bad. And this one would be like £3.50. 82 like that's really just not bad is it i am gonna just have a quick cheeky little check on the rest of the website in case they've got you know any special deals or anything for me to look at just as i'm browsing though i'm thinking if i'm gonna do this video again well first of all i really want crime punishment physically um to also just see how much i'm gonna manage to read and achieve and if i'm doing this video again i said before i'm gonna do it when i finally read war and peace so I already have this book physically, that's good. But another book that's on that same list of my like priority reads for this year, um, books that I wanna kind of like challenge myself to read is David Copperfield. And I thought, well, if I'm getting Crime and Punishment in the nice Penguin Classics, like that one, and why don't I just get David Copperfield as well? I think this just absolutely has to be done. Um, I it, They put the wrong title in on World of Books. Sometimes they have it in as the wrong title or like the wrong author. I have checked all the details and it's fine, but I I think you can't go wrong with four pounds seventy. I'm adding it. I kind of want to look through the list. This is my twenty four book priority list. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. That would be a good one to buy. And it's only three pounds seventy. Come on, am I gonna do like I have to? Also, there's another consideration. I've got the discount of like fifteen percent off, but also there's get if you buy three, you get another that's under five pounds for free so i kind of have to do that too the issue is i don't think this one's in the deal so the three that i'd be getting is one two and three but then i get another book free or actually it's counting that one as free but it's because i've put this one in the glass castle which basically the reason i haven't bought these before is because i feel like i could find them in charity shops for very cheap but i never find these actual editions this is always my issue though with buying books like if i'm like oh, i'll buy one book because i've got a good reason for it and i really want it and it's cheap and la 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 like you get free delivery so i could just buy one but like as soon as i'm buying one i'm like well may as well make the most of it because if i let myself buy one i just like then the floodgates open and i buy like which is why I so often just refuse to buy any. I just will not buy books. And like, I just have to really convince myself to buy them. But I think that this is a good reason, you know? Am I just, am I just like talking myself into this? Tell me in the comments that it's a good thing to buy these books and it's a good deal. Please, thank you. <laughs> if I add in one more book that's under five pounds, I get it for free. So let's find that book. Okay, this one is in the deal, also on my priority list. So if hopefully i add this to the basket hopefully we get it for free oh which one did we get for free this one jonathan strange oh maybe i made a mistake i think only one of the discounts is on at a time but you know what we've come this far and you know when i put i've put them in my checkout now basically think basically means that like they're mine so okay so i'm being so brave and i did take out 84 train cross road so the only ones I'm getting now is, because basically like the deals didn't stack up, so it's much cheaper if I just do this way. So I'm getting The Poisonwood Bible, Crime and Punishment, David Copperfield, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, and The Glass Castle. So five books for £19.96. Not bloody bad, is it? Not bloody bad. I genuinely haven't bought myself anything online in so long that I've forgotten my code. Like I've genuinely forgotten my card details. Which is good because it means that I haven't been buying stuff unnecessarily. But it's annoying because I have to go downstairs. <laughs> okay, this is the problem with vlogging. I went down to check my number. Immediately forgot it on the way back up. Could be wrong. Am I filming this in a weird setting now? 
I was. I was filming it on cinematic. So I hope you enjoyed that. You guys are such a bad influence. Anyway, I've just ordered those and I'm going to do some work now and then I will get back to reading because that's the whole point of this vlog is to read Crime and Punishment in 24 hours. I just filmed a whole video with a big makeup smudge on this. Why didn't any of you tell me? Uh, I thought we were supposed to be friends. Anyway, I'm absolutely freezing cold now because I've had to like take off my comfy, cozy outfits to like film. So I am gonna warm myself up number one it's freezing cold it must be like below zero here and then i'm going to get back to reading because that is the whole point of this vlog we're not supposed to be going around buying books we're supposed to be reading crime and punishment so i wonder what the second half of the book's gonna be like i'm like very intrigued i think that we are definitely building to something as well it's like a, it's less of a slow build than i thought it was going to be so i'm actually quite excited to see the second half of the book second half always goes quicker as well so i'm like still pretty pretty um confident that i'll be able to get this done um in 24 hours and i'll still probably be able to sleep <laughs> a little bit which will be fun <laughs> i love to sleep this excuses outfit it is so cold i actually have stooped to actually put the heating on for one hour that's what I allot myself in the day. I'm just getting some editing done and doing some work. Honestly, I just had my lunch and I was listening to it um, while I was doing lunch. It's heating up because, well, it's, it's kind of the same, but I'm really enjoying hearing from the other side, kind of like we've heard a lot from our main character. I still don't actually know how to pronounce his name, even though I'm literally listening to it. We've heard a lot from his perspective and we're kind of getting slightly less from him and we're hearing a little bit more from kind of the punishment side shall i say kind of the prosecution although they're not at trial yet or anything but we are hearing a bit more from that side and like there's lots of like conversations about psychology and like oh well like you would talk like this if you'd done this and like stuff like that that's like very very fun i don't want to go into too much detail and depth because i do think I don't want to give spoilers and I think if you're interested in this book you should definitely read it and I'm also I forgot to tell you that I'm doing a TikTok live that I'm actually gonna try and do as a live stream on YouTube as well at the same time I don't know how it's gonna happen but I just like I'm kind of I just want to experiment and see what YouTube live would be like I have not been vlogging and I have not been reading because I just did my TikTok and YouTube live it was good, but it was a bit stressful to do live streaming on two platforms at the same time. But it was really nice. It's always really nice to talk to everyone. And it's just so fun because you never know what's going to come out of it. Like, I have no idea what book we're going to end up doing um, in those lives. So basically, it's for the book club. And if I didn't explain earlier, we spin a wheel, see which three countries we're going to get. And then we vote. This time we got Uganda, Brazil and Canada. And then we did a vote and it was exactly even between Uganda and Brazil. So we had to do another poll, ended up Brazil was winning. And then we had so many book options for Brazil um, and we were just trying to narrow it down. But we did in the end and we did another poll and basically we've ended up doing The Hour of the Star. So I'm going to be reading that next month with the book club. If you want to join the book club, please do, because it's so much fun. And if you're interested in reading Clarice Lispector or Brazilian books or specifically the, the Hour of the Star, then join because we're doing that in February. And now I'm really regretting doing an online order on Wob earlier because I'm like, well, now I need to buy the book club book and I don't have it. And I bet that it's on Wob. So I'm actually just going to look it up right now. It's on there, but it's not in the deal. But now it is eight o'clock at night we're officially 12 hours well no we're not we're almost 12 hours we're almost halfway oh we're almost halfway into the 24 hour reading vlog i've just checked i'm 63 percent through the book so i didn't get much further than my last update that means i need to do some serious reading tonight i'm gonna like sit there reading it on my kindle and i'm also gonna listen to the audiobook but it's 8 p.m and i haven't made dinner and i'm really hungry now and i'm also really thirsty because i was just talking for like a full on hour and 20 minutes without stopping on that live let me go sort out some food and also get back to reading Crime and Punishment. I'm really enjoying it. So it's not going to be difficult to read, but it's going to be difficult to finish it by 8am tomorrow or 8.40 technically. I was so confident earlier in the day and now I'm like, I don't know if I'm confident anymore. 40% of that big book seems like quite a lot of book left. 
but we're gonna still see if we can do it I'm definitely not gonna be able to finish any other books I was like oh my god I'm gonna be able to like finish Crime Punishment and then go on to another book and finish off like the book club book that's not happening it's gonna be a rush to finish Crime Punishment okay I am now finished for the day and I need to focus on reading I've just got up to part five I don't know how many parts there are look at little me so in front of me okay so I was reading and then now I'm listening because I got to a really boring bit I'm not gonna lie it was like getting really good it was really fun and now I'm at a really boring bit I just I'm with loads of characters I just don't care about but I'm kind of at like the funeral scene and I just don't care um, so I switched back to listening to try and get through it and I'm playing Breath of the Wild. I am currently 70% of the way through. So we're not doing great. We're not doing great. Can I do 30% before 8am tomorrow? Yes, I can. Can I do 30% and also sleep? So that's the question. That's what we're gonna find out tonight. Stay out here for a bit and then I'll go up. Cause I don't wanna like go and read in bed too soon cause it'll be too tempting to fall asleep otherwise. Um, cause I'm gonna try and obviously stay up to finish it like as long as I can. I've just done my skincare, brush my teeth and I'm getting into bed and I'm going to carry on reading. I've just started part six. So I think I'm 80% through the book. I think I can do it by 8 a.m. tomorrow. I'm gonna keep reading tonight, stay up as long as possible reading, physically or on audio, probably physically, like on my phone, and then get up early tomorrow. If fall asleep for a bit, but get up very early, finish off the book before 8.40, which is the deadline. I'm pretty convinced I can do it, I've got 20% left, like that doesn't feel very long, even though like, it's like five hours on the audiobook or something. I have one hour left, so I have no time for talking. I have to keep reading. It's gonna come down to the wire whether I finish this or not. finished I just just finished it and it is two minutes past the 24 hour cut off I just timed it terribly clearly <laughs> so I technically did not pass my challenge because I finished at 8 42 and I started yesterday at 8 40 but I'm very happy to have finished it I'm also very happy to be outside as the sun is rising and there's a frozen lake in front of me. Let me show it to you. This lake is frozen solid. My brief thoughts were, wow. Wow, what was that? <laughs> no, I liked it, I liked it. That's my brief thoughts. <laughs> I always wonder what birds do when the lake freezes, if they get annoyed. back home with Misi girl who's trying to steal my smoothie. Whenever Miso wants to come and cuddle I have to like prop my arm up because she only wants to sit like high up so this is the compromise that we come up with and it also means I can only type with one hand so that's another of my compromises. But look at the gift that I get, little Misi. 
Okay, so I've been back from my walk for a while. I've finished the book. I didn't end up listening to anything else. I just wanted to kind of have some time to decompress. My overall rating is four out of five stars, or like a 4.25 on Storygraph, if you use Storygraph. I really liked it, but I wasn't actually sure on the ending. I feel like the, maybe it's just because I was getting tired, you know, like when you push yourself to read something quickly. But I feel like a lot of the energy that I had while reading it earlier on, I kind of lost, especially just before the ending, like there was loads of amazing conversations around the main character, kind of around like the 70, 80% mark. And then we kind of like followed another character for like, for me too long. And they were introduced too late for it to be like the, the big stakes. Like I didn't care as much. I kind of just wanted to go back to the central struggle, if you get, if you get me. So like the ending felt quite slow to me, whereas I thought it would be even faster. But overall, I'm so pleased with how much I liked it. I thought it would be a lot more of a struggle. I thought it'd be a lot more of a challenge. I also weirdly thought it would be like a book about a trial. Um, so if you think that that's what this book is about, it's really not. Like I don't really like um, courtroom dramas. I don't like books that are focused on a trial in a court. And this was not that at all. It's very much a psychological book about a man who is committing a crime and then like the internal psychological struggle and kind of like a battle of wills and a character study of many different characters. And it was written really, really well. The reason I think that I can't give it a five star is because the essential question that it's trying to ask I don't think this is a spoiler to say, but I think the essential question that this book is trying to ask is, or like one of the hypotheses of the main character is, are some people inherently better and therefore deserve to break the law? But not like the law, like certain moral laws, like like not just like stealing in certain instances, like moral codes that human have, are they above them enough? Are they like an elite class of people that can then basically do whatever they want? And to me, like, it's not that much of an interesting question because I know my answer already, if you know what I mean. I think if like that was something that I was very interested in as a subject, this could be like, this is why I can see why it'd be some people's favorite books if that's something like that they find in, as an interesting question. But like that as a central question for me, it's kind of like, okay, well, I already know what my answer is and it's not gonna really change that much. So it is kind of fun to see the back and forth and the struggle over this, this question. And I liked the writing, I liked how it was done. I think it was really, really, really good. But to me, it's not gonna be a five star because just that as a subject matter is not like the most it doesn't like hit me, you know, really hard like that as a question, as a moral quandary. So that is my basic review of Crime and Punishment. And I did manage to read it in 24 hours and two minutes. <laughs> or I read most of Crime and Punishment in 24 hours. So I'm really pleased with this. I'm really happy with how this video went. I think I'll definitely do this again when I do War and Peace, which I'm terrified about. I think I'm gonna need to prepare more before I go and do War and Peace, but I think it's actually really good to push me to really focus on a book and just like make time for it and something that is really long and kind of challenging or like very slow. I think it's actually just a really good idea to like push yourself to read, read it like in kind of, not in one go, like obviously, but I don't know if, especially like slower books, I think it actually is good to read them quite quickly because otherwise I ju they just drag on and they forget. And I don't know, like, I feel like when I really throw myself into a longer, slower book, I actually get a lot more out of it. Um, and I don't feel like I'm rushing it or anything, but let me know if you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have, and I hope that you will want me to do this again, maybe when I do War and Peace or recommend me other books that you think I could try and attempt to do in 24 hours because that would be very fun for me as well but if you have not already then please remember to subscribe because I do lots of different types of vlogs on this channel and also recommendation videos and review videos and other fun bookish things so that is going to be all from me today and I will talk to you again soon bye